Well, as far as the new record, American Capitalist, worked hard on it, man, about six to eight months. We'd just come off a whirlwind touring cycle last year. <laughs> It took a little longer than normal, but we wanted to make it right. We didn't want to rush it. And the fact that we de just debuted at number three on Billboard charts with it is a huge testament to not only our hard work, but the fact that people are, they have a desire for heavy music right now. And even if it wasn't us that were having the breakthrough, I would root on any band that has success you know, in Billboard or any of the charts because it helps open the door for in other avenues and other bands for heavy music. And I think that's very important. The tour's been going great so far. We, we're about uh, three weeks into it. And certainly some of us feel like we've been out for about three years straight because our bodies don't hold up as well as they used to when we were like 19 or whatever, but uh, we, that's because we give a lot on stage. So how did I get involved with D-Drum? Working with Felix has been great for me. I mean, I seem to call him about every other day going, hey man, sorry to bother you, but can you do this? And bam, the next day it's at my doorstep. I mean, he's right on top of everything. I love that, I love the personal attention. And he's just coming through with everything I'm asking for because he's excited about this project too. He wants to build this thing and make this kit something that everyone's talking about. And I think we've achieved it. It's just 100% positive vibes. And that's important to me. I want to get along, I want to laugh with people, I want to have a good time with a company that wants the same thing. They, they want to be a part of something that's building and successful and that's growing. And they are as a company as well. So it's like the perfect thing. I'm using the Reflex line and I think it's fantastic, man. It is, it's kind of like a standard line. It's not like the high-end extravagant super stuff, maple things that people you know, some, some drummers gravitate towards, which is readily available. There's multiple colors and wraps and styles and stuff, and you can get it at any music store. They're solid drum kit. They, I mean, they cut, they're really loud. They're punchy, they're tight. I play fast metal stuff, so they're very good for that. Like the kick drums, killer sound, very easy to control. You know, I, I use 20 inch drums, a little smaller. You know, they, they had them custom wrapped for me by the Rock and Wraps company. I, th I actually think the tone, I'm noticing the biggest difference uh, are, are in the kick drums. Uh, I just, it's such a tight and punchy sound. It feels great too. Like I play off the feel and the sound of it and all that stuff at all. That's a big thing for me. And combined with the trigger sound, it's just I learned, that's kind of how I learned how to, to play. You know, so it, it's cut, it cuts through great. It's super tight, super punchy, and it feels great and it doesn't destroy my body. But it holds up well. I really don't want it to get damaged because I think they're going to be featuring it this year at NAMM and I want it to look great on the showroom floor, you know? I have been using the uh, DRT triggers for a couple years now. I never have a problem with, with the DRTs. They always are very solid. It's not like a kind of thing where you have to get out a soldering kit and put the new sensors on it. They they last forever. I mean, I'm trying to break them and I can't. Yeah, I'm using the DD1 pads as well uh, as the whole kit. Like they they've sent me out an electronic kit because we're writing and demoing material for another record already out here on the road. But I use the DD1 pads for tr uh, samples and stuff and I was using it during a drum solo. The Decabons, um, they're fantastic, man. I kind of use them in my drum solo. It's almost like the homage to Neil Peart, except I'm not even ne nearly as close, as good as that guy. But I love the fact that he used to just have drums for miles. So I'm like, let's make the biggest kit that we possibly can. And I, I get to have a stand-up moment during my drum solo. And then I rise on the drum riser, which is like my Peter Chris Love Gun Tour moment, you know. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing some cool rhythm things with, with the kick drum standing up on the deck of bonds, which is a lot of fun. And a lot of people really don't do that stuff anymore, but I'm trying to put on an arena rock show drum solo. You know, I don't want people to go get a beer during my solo. This is Jeremy Spencer from Five Finger Death Punch. Come and check me out in the Share the Welt Tour where you can see my new Reflex drum kit. Keep it metal.